Nomad 23 here, and today we're going to bring to you a review of an exclusive Legoland train set. This is set 40166, and it's exclusive because it is sold only at Legoland. This is brand new for 2016. Um, it's probably going to be around a couple years, or at least for a year, I would think. <clears throat> but the only way to get it is to buy it from the gift shops or the Lego stores that are inside of Legoland. So I picked up mine from a reseller and I gotta tell you I am very happy with this set but mine brand new sealed is missing the sticker sheet so we're gonna review this one for you and I'm gonna show you you can see on the box where the stickers go but it's missing so I'm gonna go online and try to order the sticker sheet and hopefully it gets replaced uh, we'll see what happens but nevertheless <clears throat> the train is complete so let's take a look at it. So as you can see, here's the box. And here's the back of the box. And it is a replica of the Legoland train. I'm not sure if this one's in California or Florida or both. But you tell me. So first of all, you get four minifigures. There's a few extra pieces you get. So you get four minifigures. Now I couldn't tell you if these are exclusive. Um, I think all these are common parts. So you get me over there with hair, you get a little boy, you get the mom, and you get the train conductor. Really like that torso on the train conductor. So we turn it around, there's the back printing, and there is a little bit of, well I should say a couple figs. He has back printing, and the mom has, no she doesn't. So the only one with back facial printing is the little boy. So there they are. There's the four minifigs. Now let's take a look at the train. So the train is on a short wheelbase. And you get three parts. You get the engine. You get this little part in the middle. Which is, uh, I don't know, it's like a little utility cart. <clears throat> and then you get the passenger car. And this is set up, so it's really a lot of common pieces. There's nothing, I don't think there's nothing exclusive or nothing special about any of the parts. You can make a bunch of these passenger cars and hook them all together. Now it won't fit on regular train tracks, but it will fit on the smaller gauge track like the Legoland train I have in the background there. We're going to compare those in just a second, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so first of all you get this little train platform, and this platform would be obviously the little, the little spot where you would go to wait for the train. Um, there's supposed to be two stickers here. There's supposed to be a sticker on the flag Because it's the train stop and there's supposed to be a park map on the glass there as you can see right here. I'll show you the instruction booklet. That's where the stickers go I mean, it's very very simple not too many parts to it. So that's it for that So then we'll take a look at the engine now the engines pretty sharp and it's got the uh it's got the color scheme of just basic building. I mean, when you were a kid, this is how you built. You didn't really match colors up. You just tried to make it look decent and you used whatever you had. And I think this is in the real spirit of Lego. So we'll turn this around here. And right there, there should be a swirl sticker. And on either side of here, there should be a couple arrow stickers. And then it should say Legoland right there on both sides. Like I said, hopefully I can get the sticker sheet replaced. Um, we'll see what happens. So it's just a simple little build. It actually goes together fairly quick. It's pretty nice. I like it. And then you get this little utility cart. There is nothing to this. It's just basically a square box. A couple clips in there to hold some whatever you want. It comes with a shovel and a broom. And it's got the little keeper to snap it onto the engine. And then you get the passenger car. Now this thing is pretty cool. It's really a simple build, but it goes together pretty cool. And the roof does come off. So you can load your figs. And the roof actually comes off of the engine too. Just like that. So you can load the conductor in there. And this is a really simple build. But it's fairly neat. I mean, if you're building, if you want to build a train, you know, you could put your Ferris wheel up, put your mixer up. Hopefully they're coming out with a roller coaster build you a little amusement park and you gotta have a train that goes around it so this one is perfect it's a small be really easy to build a lot of these cars so that's it for that 
so tell me what you think guys I mean that's all it is it's only 200 and what was it 210 pieces 210 pieces set 40166 here's the instruction booklet and as you can see that's where the stickers go there's one there one there on either side and one there on either side there's like I said the park map a little bummed that my sticker sheet was missing but it's not here it's really not here so now so this train is the Legoland train and the one in the background there is the inside edition or the inside special edition Lego train so we'll move this platform out the way with the hot dog guy and let's slide it up here and I'm gonna take this one off the track this one is really sharp if you guys want to see a video on this one I will try to remember to attach a card so you can check it out as you can see, we'll just take a look at the engines let's compare those so there you get the you get the engines and it doesn't come with trains are but trains are is my permanent conductor for this bad boy as you can see this one there's a lot more detail a lot more to it this was a special limited edition uh, you had to take the Legoland tour or the take inside tour to get this one I actually parted this together if you want to see that video check out the card but there's a comparison of the two engines pack them up so you could try to get a view of them and you can see even though they have different wheels they have the same wheel base so this will fit on this track here there you go but the wheels don't stay on as good it fits but because there's this groove doesn't really fit on the track so it I mean it doesn't uh, ride on the track so it fits on the track but it doesn't ride so it would be really easy to take those wheels change them out to those wheels and then it would work on this track so much better so let's take a look at one of the passenger cars we'll compare these and this is a really simple build like I said this one has so much more detail really cool though I mean they're based same length this one is a only a four wide and this one is a six wide so there's a lot more room for detail in this one but this is a really sharp set I just wanted to compare them for you guys so I'm gonna put these back together and then we'll give you my final thoughts all right guys so that's it for this one tell me what you think about it I mean I really like this it's a simple little train you could actually probably part this one together I don't think I didn't notice any rare parts that are might only be in this train I mean you guys tell me looks like everything is fairly common easy to put together uh, it's brand new so I don't think it's on BrickLink yet but eventually it, the, it'll get uploaded to BrickLink and you'll be able to go to BrickLink and you'll be able to find the uh, all the parts and if you want to find out how to build your own I could you can watch my video on how to uh, part out a set into your one at list and you could build one of these for yourself um, like I said or you could just order it from a reseller like I did so that's it for this one guys I really like this train it's really a really cool love the mix match colors love the little engine um, it doesn't really compare to that one in the back too well but it's a really cool train so tell me what you think leave me some comments below give me a thumbs up and like the video please subscribe if you haven't already check out all of my channel guys I've got a lot of train videos I've got a lot of hauls got a lot of reviews I've um, got a lot of stuff on here. Check it all out. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.